Okay, today we're talking about a little one squad deck for Warstorm on Facebook based around the Cultist of Kolnar, otherwise referred to as the Cultist. There's actually several cultists along the different factions, but just to keep things simple, this is how I'm going to refer to them. Uh, of course, I have the uh, epic version, or the G5 version, the uh, purple, uh, which means it costs zero to bring out, so as soon as it hits your, uh, your uh, ready bar, it just hits the table, which is great, which is essential. In fact, all but two cards in this entire squad are zeros. I have three epic cultists and two epic zaps, which are also zeros. The good part about that is uh, they keep cycling every turn until something comes out for them to hit. Like when it's the enemy's turn and their card hits the table and immediately targets it. The other two cards are, of course, the hero. Very short, ready time, the Archmage Valenti. Uh, he costs six. And, of course, the... Uh, Harkonite Husky, which costs two. Nice little 3-3 three, three, um, guy. And of course, uh, the Archmage does two zap, but no attack. So there's some problems with that, but he blocks as well. But anyway, the good part about this deck, it's very fast. There's five zero cards, three zero cultists, and two zero zaps. Bam, 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 things come off. The only thing that really gets this deck is, of course, luck of the draw. I mean, Archmage hits the ready bar, Husky hits the ready bar, you know, and then a Zap hits the ready bar, then another hat zips the ready, you know. So if your cultists come out last, you're probably going to be screwed because most things that come out at that point, if you're playing one squad, especially the, on the higher level stuff, right now I believe I'm like level, yeah, I'm level 69. Um, this deck will get killed. Also, Invulnerable kills this deck. The good points about the Cultist are also the bad points. It's a Retaliate 2, and swings for 2, but it only has 1 toughness, or 1 health, sorry. Too much Magic the Gathering. So, it gets killed easily. Yes, it swings when it goes down, but once again, Invulnerable makes that, you know, not happen. You know, so... And the, another bad thing about Invulnerable is I don't I don't know of any Invulnerable card that comes out swinging for less than two. There might be one out there. I mean, don't you know spam me going. I know. I don't care. Most of the ones that I see on regular play swing for two, which means this thing's going to die quick, and it's not going to help. But when you do use this deck, once again, it's nice to have the epics. Uh, Three cultists, two zero zaps, the mage, so it's very much anti-creature, and it's meant to do its damage quickly, and then it's over. Um, of course, there's several different ways to do this. It all depends on what cards you have available, of course. So, you know, tune it as you wish. This is just how I've done it. Like I said, I've seen it done other ways, so don't send me messages going, but it does it better this... Yeah, fine. Well, you probably have cards to do that. I don't. This is how I chose to do it. So, well, there you go. Um, so, hope that helps you out uh, in playing your playing your cards right. Hard the cards, man. Uh, so, happy war storming, people, and enjoy yourselves.